I usually got my daily routine this morning, getting up with gratitude, you know, praying, you know, reading, but, you know, I read like 10, 10 to 15 pages every morning, you know, then I go get my run, I forget to run, prepare breakfast for the kids, you know, and I go feed the dogs, and then I come out into the garden. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how the garden is looking at the and April today is April 28th so I just want to show you guys how it's looking all right so let's join me in that today all right all right first thing I want to show you guys is cassava yeah they're growing extremely fast yeah some is growing fast on some look there's more here look there's more here these are ones are actually chop, you know, chop, so they're growing back. More cassava over here. I'm growing, I have a lot of cassava growing. More cassava here, more cassava here. More cassava, you remember you saw me oh, I actually plant them, so now you see the, the result of them. We got marigolds here. This is what I do with the marigolds, see? Now let's break it off. I'll show you guys exactly what I do. See this marigold? Open it. I just scatter it all over the garden. Scatter it everywhere. Yep. Do the same again and find another one. Same thing. I scatter it. That's it. And, and they're going to grow up like this. Let me show you some other ones around the garden. If you look underneath the, the, the tree right here, there's marigolds growing here. Look, there's zinnias growing right here. Cassava. Look over here, guys. The long neck pumpkin. It's like drooping now because the, the, the you know that the sun is coming up right now. So that's it. We got some comfrey right here, cassava, sugar cane, sugar cane, cassava. Look, one of the mango trees that I planted, look right what I have right beside it, some peppers. I remember what variety. <laughs> look guys, cassava, it's just growing all over, cassava. And look what I did with the, 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 the long neck pumpkin. I have it trellising into the pigeon pea. If you look right here, look. It's trellising right up. Yep. One of my bananas back here, finally pushing growth. A bunch of volunteer, sorry, La Rosa, the long neck pumpkin and it spread its way all over hey guys remember to show you all, all the tomatoes see even more here look i see your tomatoes <laughs> you guys it? 
we come over here we have some longevity spinach yeah over this side we have some zinnias as this is another year I sprinkle seeds for the flowering plants a bunch of zinnias but then you see these, these are actually seminal pumpkin yeah these are seminal pumpkin hoping that they hang on yep. I actually put some peppers up here as well look these are while in, in the seeds are spread in the garden lettuce seeds and and they're just growing without no care at all i'm gonna leave this to they go the seed kind of grew in the sand so i'm gonna save the seeds for that as well the this is this look at it this look like broccoli but i doubt it's broccoli it's it, oh yeah this is actually the mustard greens yeah yep yeah this look like a kale yeah, look like some form of kale or something here yeah guys i won't get around to everything in the garden because you know that would be a maybe a two hour video okay the zinnias here growing zinnias zinnias let's go over here look at the lemon bee balm pollinators love this and this is a bed, look at over here. A bed of lemon bee balm. Look over here, look, there's figs growing here. And there's, oh, there's more here, there's one more fig here. This is a fig tree I bought from Lowe's two years ago too. It really took off now. It's pushing figs, early figs too, that's good. yeah i love flowers in the garden guys so you can see a lot of flowers look here more zinnias look over here more zinnias marigolds again that is sprinkle all over the garden let's walk around i right, look at the sunflowers sunflowers all over look, look. I'll give you a close-up look Boom, beautiful. Pollinators gonna love over this area of the garden. Look at it. Sunflowers. Sunflower love. Look at the pollinator right there. You see that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Give you a better look. That's the reason I do this. Yep. And even more bees are flying around. Guys, this is another era of uh, tomatoes, Everglades tomatoes. Look in the ground. And these tomatoes are actually disease resistant. But while it's getting hot, they're just going to still produce <laughs> tomatoes. Let me show you the traditional tomatoes, not that like I got from. Look. All taken over from blight. Yep, I pick all the tomatoes from this yesterday. I show you a video of that but these are all taken over, so could you know take these off the ground now. Yep. But surprise, surprise! Look over here. You got some big, nice tomatoes. You see me show you pictures of this. I think these are the mule team variety of tomatoes i think so even the huckleberry guys huckleberry i don't think they even could manage this there's some disease now that's taking over the leaves of the huckleberry so this was an experiment to see if it could grow here so it could grow here in probably the early part of the year but once it starts getting hot the leaves of the huckleberry start getting look similar to the tomato like blight something took it over more tomatoes over here there's some carrots in that container there's a pineapple right here if you look over here marigolds these are seeds that sprinkle all over the garden 
There's some corn here over here. It's not looking too good. Yep. Yeah, they're not looking too good. Yep. More more marigolds. As I sprinkle the seeds all over the garden. My compost pile, grass clippings. It's so how you build soil guys. Build your own soil. Everything works out cheaper. Come here. More tomatoes. These are callaloo seeds. Yep, and a leafy green that could manage the Florida heat. So I just sprinkle the seeds here, then I'm gonna transplant them into the, the bed over here, which I actually emptied partially. I'm just waiting for the mustard green seeds to be ready. And I think it should be ready in time. Could move that out to the ground, add all the callaloo in this bed. The, these, the collards are actually still doing good. You know, still getting, you know, bugs kind of bite up a few leaves, but you know, they're not bolting or none, so I'm going to leave them. This one, especially over here, the leaves are beautiful in this. So, yeah, definitely leaving these and let them do what they got to do. Yep. All right. The, the the squash I may end up getting one more or two more from the squash before it's taken over completely you know now we definitely can't grow squ squash too long here with a vine borer yeah vine borer and powder with mildew definitely take over the tree but look over here guys look at the karabis I'll show you karabi over here, this is a different variety, so the leaves are smaller. I got these seeds from Haas, Haas seeds online. Yeah, so these varieties, the, the, the leaves don't get big, but you get a lot of that root or whatever they call this on the karabi. Yep, which this is the reason we really growing it for. So these are nice, nice and big. Yeah, look over here, more, more. Yeah, these on this side are a little bit smaller. Yeah, but the, the, the ones up on this side is you know, a lot bigger. Then over here, I let, look again, marigolds, the sprinkled seeds. But these are okros. Yep. Yeah. Planted some more seeds here. Yeah. This is directly in the ground. I have the, 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 the raised bed looking thing around it, but this, I'm, I still plant directly in the ground. These are just tropicals, bunch of tropical plants. Yep. All right, these are my sorrel roselle. You know, getting ready to transplant them into the food forest. You know, all of these are going into the food forest. And like what, 30 plants? Be spread right through the food forest. It's gonna look real bushy, but yeah, for purpose, yep. Yeah, I stuck a potato in the ground here and to get potato slips. So, you know, you see this potato here. Let me show you the slips I got from that. So, I got the slips, put it in water, and look, a lot of roots ready. Right? So, I'm just waiting to transplant certain things from certain areas to utilize you know to start these yep my thick cuttings are all looking good the mulberry tree still you know look just constantly just bearing fruit i got so much fruit from this to share with neighbors you know the kids love it, every, every, you know, I make jams, even, you know, juice them, everything from these mulberries, and they're still producing. Yep, extremely productive tree, yep. 
over here we have some comfrey look how big and nice this comfrey is i've been spreading the comfrey all over the the, the food forest though look guys look more tomatoes right here growing these are new plants show you some more look more growing right here more growing right here so i have so much tomatoes guys i i don't even need to there's something i don't need to worry about for the whole summer it's tomatoes more more growing right here the the green onions uh, finally put flower after three years these are green onions i bought from the store and cut off the bottom stuck in the ground stuck in these containers and i got you know got green onions from it for a while so yeah, i'm going to be saving these seeds planting should have a bunch of onions for another few years yep beautiful though look at it beautiful beautiful now these are this is the african basil it you know keep bloom it blooms all year yep african basil that all right guys so you know i didn't want to make the video too long so i kind of just you know go directly to where i'm going and not go too deep in details just to show you guys some of some of the stuff that's going on in the food forest all right so thank you all for watching all be blessed with peace love and happiness one love all right take care guys